Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny Hill and this video is a long overdue video, a long overdue update, should I say. It's essentially a one year update and a one year review of the Wanda tech pouches. So if you follow me on other socials, you know that I absolutely love Wanda bags. I've used their backpacks for many years. Their quality is amazing. Customer service is top notch and you just really can't go wrong. And I just found their bags to be incredibly comfortable and the utility and versatility of those bags was really impressive. So when they announced these tech pouches about a year ago, I was so stoked. I knew it was gonna have that Wanda quality and I love to be organized whether I'm at home or whether I'm on the road. Backpacks are great, but I don't like just throwing things in the bag. I much prefer to have things organized in different sections and those wanted bags are fantastic to organize and these just kind of slide into the camera cubes and you can arrange it so that the large all the way to the small will fit and it just works so well together so if you already have a wanted bag I definitely recommend you check these out if you want to have a little bit more organization with your camera gear or tech gear or just everyday carry items so like I said I did a video about a year ago and I would say go check it out but honestly don't go check it out the audio in there is awful. I was really just trying to get into my groove of, of creating videos and it was very early days. I hate that that video is doing so well. If you type in Wanda Tech Pouches in YouTube, I'm pretty sure mine is the first one that comes up and I want this one to be the first one that comes up now. So definitely hit the like button, smash it, share it with your friends, do whatever you can to get this one to overtake that other video because I hate the production quality on it. It was definitely a learning experience for me, a uh, humbling experience should I say. Needless to say, the point of the video, the message I had in that video stays the same. I absolutely love these tech pouches and this is just kind of my one year review and overall thoughts about them after using them extensively for a year. In the office and on the road, they have just been an absolute game changer. So to get into it, I'm gonna kind of split this video with this viewpoint we have right now and then I have a camera right above me. The last video, I had a lot of people saying it was too hard to see inside the bags and they are black inside, so the light doesn't really pick up that well, but I'm gonna try and do a lot better in this one and really help you understand how big they are. But to get started, let's do a brief overview of these tech pouches. So they come in three sizes, small, medium, large, and obviously have a variety of different functionality. So the design on the different sizes is very similar. The small is slightly different than the medium and large because it doesn't have side grab handles. However, they all have this bottom kind of carry whatever so if you pull it out your bag you can just hold it like this and then unzip it and it's super easy to just keep it secure in your hand and then grab whatever you need from inside so the small one is one liters in capacity and it just has one zip no other pockets or anything and when you unzip it it literally just kind of clamshells open and i'm just going to show you what i carry in here to kind of give you a sense of how much you can store now when i go over what i use these for obviously it's going to be a very use case basis so i figure sharing how i use them can kind of give you an idea of how you could utilize them in your own life. So to begin with, we have the small camera cube. Now the design between the three of them is similar. However, the medium and large have a few things that the small does not. So to go over the similarities, they all have these loops on the sides so that you can mount a strap if you wanted to have it as like a waist bag or a across the body bag. And then they all have this hand loop at the bottom. So you can slip your hand in when you're opening the bag. And that way you're not going to drop it. It's not going to slip out of your hand. In terms of capacity, the small tech pouch is one liters. So this tech pouch actually stays in my office. And I just keep a few items in here that I wanna have on my desk to keep things less cluttered. So I generally have both of my camera battery chargers, but one's plugged into the wall right now. So this is for my Canon R6, and then I'll have my A7 IV one as well. And then I have the braided cable for my MacBook, which I don't use that often, but it stays in there if I need to use it. I have the cable for my keyboard, and then I have an iPhone cable along with GoPro battery. I have my GoPro somewhere. I think it's currently charging right now, but I like to keep that in here as well. So that's pretty much all I keep in this bag. And here's a little look of the layout of the bag. So it does open up as a clamshell and you have one large mesh pouch on one side and then two small mesh pouches on the other side. And then you also have two pen pockets as well. So it's a nice size bag. It's just a one, there's no dividers or anything, just a one empty shell. If you look at the camera charger in here, there is still a reasonable amount of depth left where you can store other things kind of side by side if you wanted to. So all in all, this is a really nice size, but like I said, it generally doesn't leave the house. It just kind of stays on my desk to keep things organized with items that I use on a regular basis. So the medium pouch along with the large pouch are ones that I do take with me on a regular basis and I do travel with them. So as we can see, the external appearance is very similar to the small. However, we have the addition of a zip pocket at the front. 
This is just a felt line pocket. Obviously you can put things inside. I generally don't use this myself and the amount you can store in here really depends on what you have in the main compartment as obviously it pushes against this pouch. We also have the loops, but it comes with these clips. If you want to include a strap, it makes it a little bit easier. You can take these off and put them on the small one if you wish. And Wanda does sell a strap for I think $19. The only other external difference we have along with the large bag is these two carry handles. Makes it really easy if you have it in a bag and you're just doing a side access, you can just grab this carry handle and pull it out of the bag. Capacity for this medium pack is I believe two liters. So in here I have the Canon QL17. This is my 35 mil rangefinder camera. It's essentially the poor man's Leica, but I absolutely love it. I picked it up recently and it has been such a joy to use. So looking at the interior of this bag, it really is made for a very small camera. It's an accordion style layout. You have essentially three areas of storage and the camera just fits in nicely like this. And then in the side storages, I have my rolls of film. I'll take them out so you can get a better look inside. Now this one does not open clamshell like the small one. It is stuck with these two pieces of fabric either side to keep things secure. But we do have two pen pockets, three mesh dividers with one main pocket and then two smaller pockets. Now, I find that these small ones are really difficult to store things in. I'm gonna lift up so you can kind of get a better view. It's the same with the large bag. You could probably stick these rolls of film in, but this kind of gives you an idea of how awkward it is to get them in there and then to get them out as well. So I generally don't use these side ones on the medium or the large, but you can easily fit like a filter in this large pocket or some batteries or something like that. All right, moving on to the large pack. This is a 3.5 liter pack and it's very similar to the medium pack with it having two storage pockets, the grab handles, the clips to have it carried on your body or carried on the wandered backpacks. So you can mount these to the wandered pack because they do have loops. That being said, the 31 liter, it will not fit very well without squishing the bag in and it looks rather silly. But the 21 liter, it should look fine. I do own the Provoke Mini and it fits perfectly on that one, but it is a much smaller bag. So I only carry it when I'm cycling. Starting with the front pocket, it's a felt line one, but it does kind of open all the way. So you can kind of get a good look at what's inside. And here I just carry very few slim things because once again, however much you have stored in the main compartment limits what you can store in this one. So I have a hard drive, memory card reader for my phone and an Allen key. Getting into the main compartment. And like I said, this is one that I carry with me on my travels as well. So I have a square filter in here, another square filter, circular filter, a battery bank, which is the Jackery USB-C battery bank. Absolutely love this. And then I have my memory card case as well. So I'll kind of open it out. This one does not open out clamshell either, but it has a few mesh pockets along with it being completely divider free, giving you the whole hollow access of this pouch. So on one side, there is three mesh pockets. Now, once again, these side ones are rather difficult to get access to, but this one is really nice because this is where I store my memory card holder, fits in perfectly. And then on the front side, we have two large pockets, which are also really easy to access. So you can, you can put a memory card in there. You can put filters in there if you wish, because they stretch, which is really nice. And then you still have all of this access in the middle. I did have a question a couple of days ago, actually, on the old video, whether or not this can carry the OLED Nintendo Switch. And I actually have the OLED Nintendo Switch right here. So if I'm traveling like internationally and I wanna bring my Switch with me, this is generally what I'll put it in. I'll take the controllers off and they just slide in nicely into one of those two pockets like this. And there we have it. I can still carry a lot more stuff in here. Obviously I'd want to be careful what I put where the screen is, cause I don't wanna scratch the screen, but I can still put my filters. I can still put my battery bank. And if I just wanted this pouch as like my handheld gaming pouch, if I'm traveling like with family on a long trip, I can put my switch in here and then I can also fit my Game Boy Advance and then a ton of games as well. Obviously I'd wanna be careful of the screen because I wouldn't wanna scratch either of the screens. So I'd either like put them like this so the screens aren't touching and then there's still tons of space for games. And obviously I could put like some charging cables in there as well if I needed to. So as with previous wandered bags and accessories, the quality of these tech pouches is superb. It has a very similar kind of ballistic nylon exterior as with the Provoke bag and the YKK zippers offer some form of waterproofing and dust proofing keeping your stuff inside clean and protected from the elements. Now I know I'll get this question, but you can't unfortunately buy the orange tags, but I did get mine with my Hexad backpack. 
Okay, so in conclusion, these are just incredibly versatile. And if you love to stay organized, whether at home or on the go, and to keep particularly your camera bag organized, because what I hated the most before I got these and before I was kind of into organizing my camera bag is that I tend to just throw things in there, filters, cables, chargers, memory cards, and everything was just a mess, particularly when I'm on the road and I'm running gun shooting and things are just kind of very fast paced. Keeping these bags, I can throw something in one of these bags and find it a lot easier than just throwing it into my main backpack. And then these just slide into those cubes and I have my camera cube divided nicely so that these can fit in snugly alongside my camera gear. So if you're interested in these tech pouches, the link is down below. It is an affiliate link, so I do earn a small commission if you purchase through them. But as always, I'm very appreciative of that. Now there is only one downside and that is that these are back ordered for a couple of weeks. I did try and message wandered. I did try and find out specifically, but Wanda couldn't give me a definite answer, but I checked on BH Photo and it says on there that they're back ordered by about two to four weeks. So I'd expect that to be the case if you ordered from Wanda's website or from anywhere else, but they're definitely worth the wait. And the kind of climate we're in right now, a lot of things are back ordered and we just need to exercise a little bit of patience to get what we want. But I guarantee it, you will not be disappointed with these. One year of usage, one year of heavy usage. They've withstood the abuse that I've put them through, being just thrown in my camera bag, thrown around my truck in the desert, just kind of hammered and used all the time. A very worthwhile investment and you won't be disappointed. So thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below or reach out to me on Instagram at Johnny Romes or jromes.tech. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks again. And until next time, I'll see you later.